Master Lupin presents uh, my first review of Zen Pinball Star Wars and as anybody remotely interested knows um, the Star Wars tables were released um, last week and I'm a huge fan of the Pinball Arcade, that's pretty obvious on my YouTube channel. And let's just say I was not that big of a fan of Zen. I didn't care for it. This has changed. Um, the Star Wars tables are right up my alley. I'm an old school Star Wars fan. Um, to have a room crowded full of Star Wars action figures and toys, and uh, this was a shot in the arm of my pinball hobby on video games and Star Wars, which I also still enjoy as video games, not so much as a collector anymore. And so, Zen sealed this deal, and they've got three tables. The uh, Boba Fett, The Clone Wars from the animated series now showing on Cartoon Network, and the iconic Empire Strikes Back table. You can't lose. If you've got a mobile device and you're watching this review to get an idea of what's the best one, pick one. It, you won't lose unless you just have a, a, an affinity for Darth Vader or Boba Fett. You can't lose if you go with the Clone Wars. You can't lose if you go with the Empire Strikes Back. This is a wonderful uh, video game uh, that the whole family can enjoy if they happen to be sci-fi fans. So let's go into the first table. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. And, um... It mostly centers around... Return of the Jedi version of Fett, because let's face it, that's where he got the most uh, screen time. Hand spinner, stormtrooper action figure who actually moves. I have uh, gone into the operator's menu and changed the the uh, <clears throat> LCD dot matrix display to green to fit the table. And I'll play a little bit for you. a while to get used to Zen's physics, but, you know. Whenever you see that animation of the uh, Jabba Palace Guard droid, that tells you that you're about to see Jabba for a bounty. Or Vader, if you uh, hear the stormtrooper say there are no bounty, uh, uh, no jobs for bounty hunters at this time. This is. Uh, Actually, my least played table, not 
due to anything of it. It just I'm trying to learn the uh, Empire Strikes Back table because it's more difficult, and I'm trying to play um, Clone Wars because I found it more fun. For $10, then gives you a uh, set of tables on the PlayStation Network. There's Microsoft Points for the Xbox 360 version, which is called Pinball FX. And, uh, ironically, the operator's menu that uh, Pinball Arcade charges an extra $4 for is included as part of the package for buying the core set. 